Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and in this video I am going to share with you the difference of Initiative Q and cryptocurrencies. Okay, so without further ado, let's um, proceed to the topic. So before I discuss the difference of Q Initiative Qs and cryptos, um, I'm going to read the description or the definition on, of Initiative Q. So Initiative Q is building the payment system of the future. The Q Payment Network will integrate the best technological improvements that have been made in the payment industry over the last few decades to create a flexible, easy-to-use, and inexpensive payment network. These technologies have been available for years but, not, but have not been adopted due to classic chicken and egg barrier. The buyer wants to join a new network with no sellers and no seller will offer a payment option that no buyer uses. Initiative Q solves the adoption problem by associating the payment network with a new global currency and distributing this currency to early adopters for free. Okay, so let's go to so the difference of Qs versus crypto. So how is this different from Bitcoin and cryptocurrency? Right, so re listen carefully. So cryptocurrency is a brilliant solution to a problem that doesn't exist. Cryptocurrency is digital money that is hard to counterfeit. While the mathematical foundation is ingenious, an immutable money ledger is far from being a major need today. Our money is already digital in the form of bank computer records, and no one is worried that these records will suddenly disappear. So this is due to a robust system of trust and governance that protects individuals from such risks. So while many dislike the complex system, it works reasonably well, and there is still no better alternative. In fact, the anti-counterfeiting measures that cryptocurrencies offer create an array of much worse problems. So number one, transferring security risk to the currency owners. So removing banks from the system also removes the protection that banks provide in security, fraud prevention, and dispute resolution, leaving individuals vulnerable to theft, scams, and human errors. Okay? To protect themselves, cryptocurrency users are expected to undertake complicated security procedures, such as generating cryptographic keys using dice entering them into an unused laptop that is later destroyed storing the keys using special hardware from multiple manufacturers and keeping paper backups and bank safe so it really is very very um, hectic okay so comparing to that that to credit cards, which allow consumers to make payments using just a few unencrypted numbers while being fully protected from losses, underlines how far cryptocurrencies are from becoming the cryptocurrency, I mean the currency of the future. So the next one is unstable value. So a basic requirement for a currency is stability and predictability in purchasing power. So this requires a carefully managed monetary policy that matches the money supply to current economic activity. So cryptocurrencies have either no monetary policy or an overly simplistic one. So as a result, their value fluctuates, rapidly rendering them unhelpful for purchases and trades. So with all activity driven instead of speculation. Okay. So the third one is legal controls. So whether we like it or not, governments still hold ultimate power and they insist on regulating currency transfers, transfers, financial transactions, investments, and their underlying mechanisms. So any currency that attempts to circumvent such regulations 
including most cryptocurrencies, will face an uphill battle to wide-scale adoption. Right? Number four, um, reversibility. So no matter how good a system is, if humans are involved, there will be mistakes and mis misunderstandings. So this is true. Allowing transactions to be reversed benefits both buyers and sellers in the long term, as customers can engage in the market more confidently. Of course, reversing the transaction should be allowed for only I mean only for certain reasons, something that can only be determined by human beings following procedures. So this goes against the decentralized nature of cryptocurrencies, making wide-scale adoption difficult. Right? Number five is waste. So Bitcoin's energy consumption is equivalent to that of 6 million households and emits 90 million kilograms of carbon dioxide so it is equivalent to 200 million pounds every day worse of that all that energy is spent to support just two transactions per second a far cry from the thousands of transactions per second on the credit card network okay so initiative q's main goal is to achieve global adoption and initiative q therefore prioritizes prioritizes ease of use stability security efficiency and legality over abstract goals like decentralization this is a real world solution for real world problems it is based on a network of queue agents who employ thousands of people conform to local regulations and ensure that members receive quality customer service and are fully protected from theft and scams without requiring them to become security experts However, some of the concepts behind cryptocurrency are valuable and may be deployed in Initiative Q's back end for settlement between Q agents, where these disadvantages become negligible. Right? So is this an ICO? No. ICO or Initial Coin Offering is a term used in the cryptocurrency world to describe the public sale of newly issued coins. Initiative Q's goal is to become the standard in payments and to create a global currency that requires adoption by hundreds of millions of members, which will not happen if they are required to pay. So Q's will therefore be distributed for free. Okay, so how is this different from an airdrop? So airdrop is a term used in the cryptocurrency world to describe free distribution of coins. While Initiative Q will distribute free currency, that by itself is not enough by revolutionized payments. It can only succeed in synergy with two other actions. Number one, requiring members to undertake simple tasks to qualify for the rewards. These are tasks that promote wide scale adoption of Q for the benefit of all members. So, read more about the reasoning behind the tasks above. So, there's a link here. Let's check it out. Why required? Okay. So development of a state-of-the-art payment system. The eventual success of Q is based on it being the safest, easiest, and cheapest, I mean cheapest way to trade. The free distribution of coins is only interesting in so much as it promotes the adoption of advanced payment technologies. Okay, so let's check their uh, payment vision, system mission. So here it is. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to discuss this one. Alright. So the Q payment network. So additionally, Initiative Q is not a cryptocurrency, which allows it to avoid the many shortcomings of cryptocurrencies, right? So those are the frequently asked questions or the difference of cryptocurrencies and Initiative Q or Qs.
right guys so if you want to be um, part of initiative Q and you can use my link in the description below okay guys and if you want to earn um, crypto by doing social service surveys rather download Lumius.io right and if you have if you are an EOS holder you can visit eusmarket.biz guys this website will serve as your guide on how you can spend your EOS and you can also earn EOS here so here is the website eusmarket.biz so every market is where you can um, exchange your EOS for airfare tickets so they offer up to 70% discounts on all flights there so inquire now if you're uh, a a uh, traveler who uses first class and business class tickets mostly okay so also found here are two marketplace websites use marketplace and PCN marketplace where you can buy and sell different items uh, real estates all right with cryptocurrencies especially EOS and also the subscription website which is called referredcurrency.news to get latest newest updates on cryptocurrency including the latest and newest tips and of course the news website pcn.today right so guys before i go i just want to say that i am not a financial advisor and everything i say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell so you must always do your own research before designing for yourself okay so this has been vic once again thank you and bye bye